So this is just a quick overview of my solar shed and I hope you'll find it interesting. All we've got is 800 watts worth of solar panels. They're just £100 each. And in here we've got a 255-amp-hour 12-volt battery and a 225-amp-hour two Trojan T105s in series. And we've also got our circuit breakers there just in case anything goes wrong. Up here we've got a modified solar charge controller. It's water cooled because I'm running it sometimes at 50 amps, which is much more than it's designed for. It's only a 30 amp controller. Today we have produced 1,856 watt hours. I've got my bike batteries charging just now. That's over 1.1 kilowatt hours worth of lithium polymer there because I'll be going along to my dad soon. This is a Peltier air conditioner that's currently drawing 535 watts at 46 amps. I currently modified it because I'm using it as a water chiller. The water is at 1 degree Celsius so it's going to freeze soon. Another thing I've done is added a capacitor bank in parallel with the solar panels because that acts as a diesel feeder because when it switches on the MOSFETs and the controller the pulses are much stronger but you won't be seeing that working today because the battery is quite low. This is a hydrogen generator which I just use for soldering very large connectors uh, the sorts that you may see I don't know on the ends of these 8 gauge wires it makes it really easy but the hydrogen seems to recombine or something because after a few days of sitting the bottle seems to collapse in on itself it doesn't seem to do it explosively I've never heard a noise coming from it or anything so I don't know it seems to, it seems to pull about 20 amps and then goes up to 25 amps once it's at full temperature it doesn't, it doesn't get too hot and it's just potassium hydroxide and water. So with it being a 30 amp controller and me running up close to 100 amps of the battery um, in some cases I've, what I do is I actually use a split charge really. Now this is rated at 200 amps but even at 60 amps it gets quite hot so I think that 200 amp rating uh, is wrong. I couldn't take that amount of current. So, and all that's, so the signal wire for that really is just connected to the load side. We've got a buck converter here which runs the water pump at about 5 volts. It's, it is a 12 volt pump but I run it at 5 volts because we, we don't need it running at full power. It's just enough to circulate the water around gently. And this is just a large water butt which um, takes the hot water which comes off the air conditioner, water chiller and the solar charge controller. It's always quite full. Now especially at winter when I come from home from work it's totally dark and the solar panels are unable to power the watt meter by this time so all I've done is just put, these are just 8 AA batteries that power the watt meter so at night it's still powered up and I could still note down how much I produced in that day. Also all my batteries for my planes, store them in a drawer, a metal one, but I never have any problems with them. I make sure my batteries are all stored at about 3.8 volts per cell. And that's a power lab charger. Um, try and see how our batteries are doing. You can hardly see that. I never fully charge them. Um, these are actually what I would consider almost fully charged now. The charger is supposed to stop at 4.08 volts. So if you only charge about just over 4 volts per cell, your battery could last much longer, over, over a thousand cycles at least. 
charging it right to 4.2 is not good for it and eventually if you store them at 4.2 volts it could cause the cells to puff so you don't want to do that and the final thing is there's a wireless transmitter there that's the old one and this one that I use now it runs on 1080 megahertz and transmits into the house and the camera's on the front there I've also got a separate microphone which is really sensitive and provides really good sound the picture you get where it's really clear and that regulates the voltage to the transmitter to, to 11 volts because if you run it it's rated 12 volts it does get quite hot and I've just stuck a piece of aluminium on the front of it to act as heat sinking so hopefully tomorrow there will be another battery coming as a Trojan battery it's the same capacity as two of the T105's but it's a 12 volt one it's a Jai 185 something I can't remember what it was and that will just go in here and I'll eventually get a 3000 watt inverter which will eventually be mounted on a panel coming out here eventually and it should be able to run a 2.1 kilowatt pressure washer no problem but uh, I'll not be buying that for a while mm -hmm.